the BioE has started the discussions with the World Health Organization. We've been in some discussions as well. We want to make this as widely available as possible. is not, not only for India, but really uh, to help the the global south, right, or in the, in the southern hemisphere. I mean, most of the African continent remains unvaccinated. Neighboring countries around India, largely unvaccinated, uh, as well as many Latin American countries. So there's that urgency, both because of the obvious humanitarian reasons for doing it, because it's the right thing to do, but also because, look, I mean, Delta arose out of an unvaccinated population in India uh, earlier this year. And look at Omicron, it arose out of an unvaccinated population out of Southern Africa. So Mother Nature is telling us what she has in store for us. As long as we refuse to vaccinate, we about 10 years ago started making coronavirus vaccines. And the, the irony is that all of our processes are used with that in mind. We, we build in low cost processes from the beginning because our, our health economists that we've collaborated with have always said, if you don't make it for under a few dollars a dose, you might as well not make it at all. So that's all we know how to do is make low cost vaccines. And we use a yeast for many of our vaccines use a yeast fermentation technology which has been around 30, 40 years, it's the same used to make the recombinant hepatitis B vaccine that people in India have been getting for decades as well as all over the world. And so there, we anticipate there should be pretty rapid acceptance. And the other nice feature is that technology is, is used locally to make hepatitis B vaccine in India. The emergency use authorizations in India for adults 18 and older, but now, you know, we think this will have a great pediatric um, our profile as well, because again, same technology that parents have been giving to their kids for decades, the recombinant hepatitis B vaccine, same, same technology. So we think this will be a great pediatric vaccine for global health, as well as as a booster. So while the emergency use authorizations for 18 and up, we hope kids and, and the possibility it's as a booster will, will follow. And then uh, I know BioE has started the discussions with the World Health Organization. We've been in some discussions as well. We want to make this as widely available as possible, uh, especially to people who live in poverty, because this vaccine checks so many of the boxes for global health, that uh, easy to scale, um, tr great track record of safety, simple refrigeration. Uh, you know, when you go down the checklist, it, it's really a, almost an ideal target product profile.